guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is long, long overdue. I bought a ton of things from Amazon, and when I say a ton, I mean a ton. Like, they came in like 20 different bags. I wanted to come up with some spring outfit ideas for you guys, and just different pieces for spring. Um, all under $30, I believe. I tried to keep it just like my bathing suit video, so I tried to keep everything under that threshold. Also, something that might be kind of nifty about this video that's different from the rest of mine is if you are looking for a specific category of clothing, whether it's dresses or whether it's jeans or whether it's shirts or whatever, there will be uh, time cards for each of those things. If you go into the description box, click the arrow so you can see the whole description box, I'll tell you the time that I'm starting each item of clothing. That way, if you're wanting to just see one thing, you don't have to watch the entire video. And as always, every product that I show you guys today will be linked down below as well. Okay, so let's get started. This first item is a romper. Well, actually, it's pretty much like a jumper because it's a long romper. It's an olive green color that I love. I love this color. It is pretty see-through, like you can see butt indentations a little bit, so I don't know how you guys feel about that part of it. Um, if I were to wear this, I would definitely wear it like lounging around the house. But you can see it's really cute, it's really airy, and it's really, really comfortable. To save time, I'm not going to be telling you guys in the video how much everything is, but it will be on the side somewhere. I truly fell in love with the pattern of this thing that I'm wearing right now. <laughs> this thing. Once again, this is another romper, but it's interesting because it has these flaps on the side right here, so it kind of makes it look like a high-low dress. But it's off the shoulder, you guys know I love that. The colors are just amazing. I love this print. I think it's really, really pretty and really, really soft and feminine. The only thing I'm not a fan of is how tight it is. If I were to get this in a larger size, I think it'd be fine. But yeah, as you guys can see, it's kind of like a romper with this like added cape, I call it. And I think it's really, really cute. I do. I think it's adorable. I would just order it a size higher than I ordered it. I know you guys love when I tell you the size that I ordered because some of you have similar body types to me. And so when you see me wear different sizes, you kind of get an idea of what size you need to order. I love it. I think it's so cute. I want to buy it in a higher size. What do you guys think? Do you guys like it? Let me know. Okay, this next item is another romper. It is another off the shoulder. I don't think you have to wear it this way though. I think you can just wear it regular. If you're not an off-the-shoulder person, I mean, I don't know. I don't think it looks weird or anything. I think this pattern is super cute. Um, once again, the stomach area is very, very tight, um, but there is this tie here that you can kind of adjust, and I do like the end of these. I think this adds a really cute touch. I would just size up. I actually really like this romper with my new hair. Before I got my hair done, I tried this romper on, and I didn't think it was this cute, so. Maybe I'm gonna change my mind and get a bigger sense of this one. <laughs> okay, that is it for rompers and jumpers. Now we're moving on to dresses. And this dress, some of you may recognize because it is on my Instagram. This is a dress I wore for Easter Sunday. As soon as I saw this dress, I fell in love with it because the colors are just so pretty. You have like all the fun spring colors. The material is like a, I don't know how to describe it. It's like that silky, like light reflects off of it type of material. So you know it's not expensive material, but come on, this is Amazon guys. Things are not super expensive. That's why I'm doing a haul because everything's really affordable and Amazon Prime is life. My camera won't stop shaking because it's attached to my ring light right now. So it's like swinging back and forth and I hope you guys don't feel this. So I'm sorry if you're getting seasick right now. All the items I'm showing you guys today do have like different colors and different patterns for each style. So for this dress, there is black and I think there's like a navy blue in addition to this greenish teal color. So if you click the links, you'll be able to see all the brands. Okay, this next item I got is this pink dress. It reminds me of It's a Small World, the ride at Disney because of this like scalloped sleeve going on and then the bottoms of the dress are the exact same and I can actually show you guys this full dress from right here because it is extremely short and that is why I have to return this one because it does fall pretty short. I really love this color though. I want to find a dress that's similar to this color because I think it's so so pretty and also up here is very controlled because this part is actually a wire so some of the fabric was sticking out so I had to kind of pop it back in but yeah these are just wires that are kind of 
making this V shape on their own. I like the way it fits on my body and the way it kind of fits right here um, in the middle here. I think I just got toothpaste on my finger from the counter. Oops. Okay, I really, really love this dress. I think it is super cute. I just don't know about this color on me. So you guys let me know what you think about this this yellow color on me. I don't know. I don't feel like it's working. But I do think it's cute. So based on your guys' opinions is whether or not I will keep this dress. This totally screams like 1950s, 1960s housewife to me. I think it is really, really cute. Definitely has like the A-line feel going on um, here in the waist. My issue with dresses is always having a little bit of a gap right here in the arm area. And there's not too big of one on this dress and there's like none on this side, so yeah. Okay, so this is another dress, that same olive color that I absolutely love. And by the way, I don't know what this is. <laughs> it's in a really weird spot. Okay, because I know somebody's gonna say something. It's like a spot that got there. I just need to wash it and it'll go away. We had family pictures done uh, about a month ago and I wore this dress for our family pictures. So um, I've been getting asked constantly since then for the link and I'm just like, wait till the Amazon haul, wait till the Amazon haul. What makes this dress really unique is the side thing. They are not pockets hanging out. It's just the way the dress is designed. So it's kind of like layered all the way down. And at first I was like, I don't really know how I feel about this but I feel like it works. This material is a little bit see-through, so you can see my bra here, so I would recommend wearing a t-shirt bra with this dress, which I am not right now. Okay, so we haven't gotten into shirts yet, but I am wearing this shirt to show you guys the skirts. The skirts are next. So we have two skirts, I believe. Yep, this is one of the skirts. It's a pink tutu. I am a sucker for tutus. If I can find them cheap, I will. And I did. <laughs> this is fairly inexpensive, but I really like it. I like the material on it. It doesn't feel cheap to me. So I actually had this outfit on my Instagram as the crop top skirt. A lot of crop tops in most stores aren't stretchy. So <laughs> what you see is what you get basically with a crop top. But I love this one because everything about it stretches. Like you can make it off the shoulder. You can pull this down a little bit if you want. You can pull it up and have it way up here and the crop top, like I said. I feel like it's very versatile and it works with the next skirt that I am about to show you guys. And this is the next skirt. It is so cute. It has pineapples on it. I saw this skirt and it screamed Disney to me because of the pineapple Dole Whip. I was like, I would totally wear this at Disney. It would be so cute. It is a very thin material. So, you know, perfect for those really, really hot days when you just wanna wear a skirt. This one is a tad small on me. So I actually ordered a larger size. I sized up a little bit. Once again, I feel like you could wear it with brown or green or white. Like you can just make it your own. And before I forget, this skirt was the hardest to buy because there was like a million cute prints. I mean, they had like Paris as one print. They had like a Christmas skirt for Christmas time. Um, they have, I think they have like 30 prints. I'm not even kidding. So finding one print and choosing one was the hardest part about getting this skirt. We are into shirts now. You guys saw the last shirt that I wore and this is another shirt. I have seen this style so many times, but I've always passed it by like, mm, whatever. But I'm like looking at it, especially through the viewfinder right here, like what you guys are seeing. And I'm like, this is cute. I like the stripe and floral pattern. I think it's simple, but also really cute. I don't know about you guys, but I'm either like full dressed up or like full homeless. So how nice would it be to have a middle ground? I think this shirt is the middle ground for us all. I think the material is really cute. It's not too see-through, so that's nice. I don't know what else to say. You guys can see it. It's pretty, right? I think it's pretty. It is totally hashtag spring vibes. Am I right? Okay, I am so obsessed with this shirt. I can't even begin to tell you. This is stepping in my comfort zone because I have never worn anything like this in my life. And it's not really like my style per se, but I really like the way that it looks. So how it works is you have two different sides and then you just bring them together like so and you can really position it any way you want and then you just tie it together. Obviously the dangers of this is my two-year-old 
just going like that and just totally ripping my entire shirt open. So I think I definitely have to wear like a cami or like a tank top underneath, but it's got these cute pockets on the side here. I just love the white, you know, all about the white at this time of year. What do you guys think of this shirt too? I'm curious of what you guys' thoughts are of this shirt. Okay, so there are two shirts left and they are both gray and I actually can't find the other gray shirt because I've been wearing it a lot, so hopefully I can find it for this video, but this is the cropped I think they said it was like a sweatshirt or a sweater on Amazon, which it clearly is not because you guys can see how incredibly thin it is. I mean, there's nothing thick about it at all. I obviously wouldn't wear it with these jeans, but I just had nothing else to try it on with and nothing else matches. And I think this circle is probably the weirdest thing of all. Oh wait, maybe I can adjust it. Let's see. <laughs> I'm learning new things every day. Oh, okay, that's cuter now. I didn't know you could adjust the tie, okay. Let's see now. Crop tops are still one of my struggles and uh, I just don't know if I'd be confident wearing this in public, truth be told. But I do think it's cute. I feel like I'm totally opposed to wearing it. Oh, I love this too, isn't this kind of cool? I like that cutout, I don't know. I don't know what this is called, but I like the way that that looks. Obviously it's gray, you can't go wrong with gray ever, but yeah, I just don't know if I personally feel comfortable wearing this out on public. I can wear it on YouTube, but out in public is a different story. <laughs> okay, and this is the last shirt, which is my absolute favorite. I have worn it a million times since I've gotten it because as soon as I saw it, I was like, I gotta try this on. Obviously it's really flowy. It kind of reminds me of a perfect tee from LuLaRoe. Um, I don't know, just the style of it and the way it kind of flares out, but it's like, way cheaper than LuLaRoe. And I don't I don't remember what this was, how much it was, but I remember it was pretty inexpensive. I'm a fan. So yeah. So we are done with shirts now, but I'm gonna show you guys these leggings. Now these came in a two pack. I got this violet color that you can see on right now. And then I also got black. My sister-in-law recommended them to me because I love black leggings and I did in the past buy them from LuLaRoe because I liked how soft they were and she said there's a company that sells leggings that are very similar to LuLaRoe and these are. They are very, very soft and they are pretty much the exact same quality. But this admittedly is another item that I've just been wearing around the house while I wait to film this video because I really, really, really love these leggings. They are so comfortable and they have like five different colors. Okay, so now I'm going to show you guys jeans. So these are the first pair of jeans and I'm totally not gonna lie. I was like, wow, my butt looks really good in these jeans. And then I read the tag in the front and it says butt lifting jeans. So I guess they are butt lifting jeans. I don't even know what those are. I've never heard of them before. I didn't know they were a thing. I love the distressing on here. That's why I ordered these jeans before I even knew that they were butt lifting. Um, and I love the wash of them as well. So I think it's an overall win. There is a lot of stretch in the thighs, especially, because I have like a lot of room in there. And um, yeah, the tummy's not bad either for stretch. I think they are pretty comfortable jeans for plus size ladies. These next pair of jeans are these black ones. They also have some distressing. I feel like you can't really tell the whole vibe of the jeans with this shirt because it's the only one I had on hand at this moment. <laughs> but yeah, black jeans, you can never go wrong with those. And they are very comfortable. The only problem I'm having with these pants is the zipper. Like it doesn't, it's just, it's really hard to zip down and up. So I think the zipper might be defective, which happens with cheaper clothes. But other than that, I think it's really cute. It comes up right where my ankle is, if you guys can see. So they are definitely skinny jeans and I think they're really cute. Okay, so this is the last pair of jeans and these are definitely the winner. I love these jeans. I know with this angle, you guys probably have a hard time seeing the full effect of the jeans, but these are the Celebrity Pink brand. Um, and they just fit so, so good. And they are so comfortable and stretchy. Like I could literally run in these. <laughs> I could work out. Honestly, I am one of those girls that avoids jeans at every store. I hate the way that jeans look on me. So I rarely ever wear them, but I got so many requests to do jeans for this video. I'm pretty sure I like these jeans more than Torrid and that is crazy to say, because I love Torrid. This is a kimono believe is the right term for it. I don't have the description on the bag, but I believe that's what it is. You know, sometimes they're cardigans or dusters, but I think 
this is a kimono. I wanted to get something that was very spring colors, things that I could wear with other things. So as you can see here, there's green, there's red, there's orange, and this taupey kind of pinkish color. And the blue, obviously. So I feel like I could definitely wear this with anything. I don't know about this outfit. <laughs> Maybe not anything. Maybe not this outfit. But it looks really, really good quality for the price that I paid for it. And I like these sleeves here. I like how it's like a cuffed sleeve. Do you guys see that? So yeah. Super, super cute. last two items are shoes so I'm going to take this camera off of the tripod and I'm just gonna show you guys what the shoes look like on my feet I figure that's the best way to show you how they fit okay so I got these booties they are really really cute they have like the slit in the side as you can see here they are gray they look really good with leggings and my only complaint is it is a little stiff up here in the ankle part which is kind of nice at the same time because my ankles are really <laughs> they're like messed up kind of so I'm always like hurting them. So to see how I can't like really roll my ankle on these shoes. So that part's nice, but I'm not really used to like stiff up at the top like that. And I wanted to show you guys me actually wearing them in the mirror. They're really cute. Okay, and then these are some nude flats. They have crisscross straps at the top here that are adjustable. So you can adjust it to the width of your foot, which is really, really nice. And these are just really cute. I mean, I've never had nude flats before, so that's why I got them in the first place. And these are so versatile. I could see myself wearing these with like any outfit at all. And this is what these shoes look like when you look at them from afar in the mirror. Very cute. I did it! Everything has been shown! Oh my goodness, you guys do not know how long it took to make this video today. There's been a lot of distractions and a lot of pauses, but we are finally at the finish line here. We are finally done. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video because I put so much time and so much work and so much effort into this. I wanted you to be able to find something that you will love that you can order to your house. And everything that I ordered is Amazon Prime, so you can get it in two days if you need it that quickly. I know some of you live in different countries and so I know not every price is going to apply the same for you. So thank you guys so much for watching. We really, really appreciate you. Do not forget about the secret emoji. Hit that subscribe button if you are not subscribed yet. We would love for you to subscribe. And we will see you guys in our next video. Have a wonderful day. Bye guys.